The concept of a battery is not something that is new to us, as the first battery was made in the year 1800. It took about six more decades for the first rechargeable battery to be made when in 1859, Gaston Planté made a breakthrough by discovering that he could charge a lead-acid battery by passing a reverse current through it. Even then, it wasn't nearly powerful enough to have significant use. However, as time went by, batteries were made more efficient in every way possible. Smaller size, more capacity, and higher power. It has taken us more than two centuries to get here, but what we're looking at now just might be dismantling the entire airline industry. Imagine batteries so powerful that they not only power airplanes, but are able to put traditional airplanes out of competition. Let's have a look at why Tesla's batteries will disrupt the airline industry. Today, Tesla is worth more than $692 billion, while Elon Musk is amongst the top three richest people on Earth. His personal wealth sits upwards of $184 billion. As a company, Tesla has been run by excellent leadership and a very committed team. However, a lot of what Tesla stands for depends on the capabilities of their batteries. Every passing year, they are able to produce more power than the previous ones. Eventually, the goal is to have batteries advanced enough that the total range on a single charge can be increased many-fold. Having said that, one thing is for sure, most of the electric vehicle industry is very heavily reliant on the development and progression of the batteries that power them. So it won't be wrong to say that batteries are essentially the backbone of this industry. It is no secret that Elon Musk is known for his wildly futuristic ideas. He is also reported to have said that all transportation will eventually become electric. Elon Musk said this while quoting rockets as an exception. Musk intends, eventually, to electrify every single form of transportation. That's right, it also includes airplanes. Musk was talking about this in an interview in 2018 when he initially floated this idea. The idea was to have planes that possessed the capability to accelerate to supersonic speeds at high altitudes. The sort of airplane he had envisioned would also have vertical takeoff and landing capabilities. At the moment, such a notion only resides in Musk's innovative brain. The battery needed to power the plane would need more than 400 watt-hours per kilogram energy density, and that is something that we simply haven't surpassed yet. For instance, even the most powerful batteries available at the moment are Panasonic's 2170 batteries. Even these high-end batteries can only generate approximately 260 watt-hours per kilogram, and they are already in use by Tesla in their Model 3 Teslas. However, Musk only very recently talked about it in a recent Twitter exchange with Sam Corus, who is an ARK investment analyst. Musk said that 400 watt-hour per kilogram batteries could start their volume production in just three to four years. He also expressed his confidence in Tesla in regards to its capabilities to increase that capacity at an unprecedented speed. Batteries of 400 watt-hour per kilogram with high cycle life being produced in volume, not just the lab, is not far. Musk tweeted this in response to a chorus post, which was speculating about Tesla's electric jet project. The 400 watt-hour kilogram battery was originally made just to extend a Tesla's driving range. However, it just so happens that the battery will also be able to generate just enough lift and thrust to launch an airplane. The Twitter comment came at a time when Tesla's Canadian research team was at the edge of a possible breakthrough. A discussion was also published in the science journal Nature, which reported the potential of the next-generation battery cell progress of Tesla's battery technology. Such high energy density can increase the range of electric vehicles by approximately 280 kilometers or even enable electrified urban aviation. This was stated in a recent paper which is led by physicist Jeff Dahn. The recent hype around Tesla's batteries and the aviation industry started when Tesla hosted an event aptly named Battery Day. This was in coherence with their annual shareholders meeting, so a lot of important projects were highlighted with plenty of updates on their Cybertruck. However, the matters regarding battery production facilities and a rumored super battery dominated the conference. The super battery in question is rumored to be capable of being recharged enough times to last for 1 million miles. Musk also decided to enter a compelling question and answer session. That is also where he revealed his intention to build an electric jet. The super batteries produced by Tesla, if successful, could deliver a 54% increase in range for electric cars. This is in addition to an outstanding 56% decrease in price per kilowatt hour. 
Musk also said in his presentation that the precise density of the batteries was not changed. However, the exact figure would be judged by Tesla in the near future. At this point, it's not too clear how soon Tesla intends to enter the aviation industry. The company or Musk do not seem clear on what this plane will look like. He did claim back in 2015 that he already had a design in mind. Musk is also reported to have considered a prototype which resembles a manta ray that he said looks pretty cool. Fast forward to 2015, Musk put forward the concept of a high-speed plane. The plane in question would be unlike current jets in the sense that it wouldn't require long runways. According to Musk, the most exciting thing was a vertical takeoff and landing. This was also when he related it to a supersonic jet. Tesla's unique selling point to its customers has mostly surrounded the aspect of clean and green energy. The fact that Teslas emit zero carbon emissions and the latest models can go up to 360 miles without charge are other plus factors. However, the adaptability of electric vehicles and Tesla itself has largely depended on access to these renewable resources. Another important factor is cost. This is exactly why Tesla produced its Model 3 version, which only sold for 40,000 bucks. In 2020 alone, almost 450,000 units were sold. Tesla's incentive to enter the airline industry is similar to the release of the Model 3 in the sense that both are highly dependent on cost. The reason electric airplanes are attractive is not because of their fancy looks and low noise or environmental impact. While all of these are compelling arguments in favor of the company and its business, it may not be enough incentive for the company to take on an industry as huge as the airline industry. The answer lies in low cost. Since electricity is much cheaper than traditional fuel, the cost of a flight can be dramatically reduced with time. Despite Musk's enthusiasm for the electric jet, Tesla's plans depend on the company's willingness to enter the aviation business. Tesla may be ruling the electric car industry at the moment by all measures and metrics. However, Eviation has already given out the specifics of their electric aircraft. The first flight is planned in 2021, while the plane is supposed to launch as soon as 2023. Tesla may have an edge in the long run in the sense that the company has a rich history in the field. They are also rapidly developing and improving their battery technologies. Eviation's Alice aircraft may not have a vertical landing and takeoff like Elon has planned for Tesla. However, it is definitely the first electric aircraft to have made this much progress in the field. It just may be that shifting their goals in the aviation industry may not be the right financial and strategic decision for Tesla right now. However, with the sheer advancements in their battery technology, it seems clear that this is a long-term goal for the company. Once Tesla does enter the market, it won't be surprising if competitors like Eviation are dominated. It may end up depending on how long the competitors are able to enjoy a monopolistic market when no one but them is producing electric planes. Who do you think will dominate the airline industry with an electric vehicle revolution? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching, take care, and have a great day.